It's Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. Bath and Body Works Body Care. We're talking Christmas Year in Review 2019. I wanted to do a comprehensive video on what I loved, um, what was kind of eh, and what um, I'm hoping they do next year. So this is going to be fun, I think. Um, first, I have to say, I really do believe that this is one of my favorite Bath and Body Works Christmases in a really long time. Um, I think they brought us a ton of amazing products, which I'm going to go through here. And I also think um, the marketing and the excitement was really good. Although this is a really strange time right now. I'm like, what is happening Saturday? Everyone said their store is opening early. I have no idea what they could possibly be promoting Saturday, seeing we did candles and body care. And um, I feel like between now and SAS, like, what could they possibly do? Like, I have no clue. So as soon as I have any word on maybe what's going on Saturday, I'll share it with you guys. But right now, I got nothing. So let's talk Christmas. So I actually have a giant bag of Bath, Bath and Body Works here um, that I'm going to go through. <laughs> and it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Bonnie, you, you, you have so much of the Christmas stuff. And the funny part is I actually basically have one of each product. That's usually what I buy for myself. I did get a few things to gift off. And I got a few things that, like, I know I'm going to use more of, like, the Twisted Peppermint. But usually what I'll do is I'll use my Christmas products, and then I will organize them in a, like, neat fashion. And then throughout the year, I might use a couple uh, Christmas products that I have on hand that I really love. So let's start with the Fine Fragrance Mist. I just wanted to show you this. Oh, my gosh. So I bought this... Like, it's, I guess it's a wooden, like, tool chest <laughs> for Christmas. I got this at Joanne, and I did my hot cocoa gift idea in this. But you know what? I love this. It's a storage unit for Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist. This thing is amazing. So what I'm going to do is, for the year, um, like I said, I have a lot of bookshelves that I, um, like, display my Bath & Body Works. And, and this is just going to be my year-round Christmas um, little storage unit. And I'm going to keep all of my Christmas, for the most part, I don't have all of them, I have most of them, the Christmas fine fragrance mists. I've got Land of Sweets here, I've got the um, spiced gingerbread, and then I've got my holiday traditions on the other side. I mean, it's heavy, but as long as like this sits on a shelf, this way, like say if I want to use one of my favorites, which is like the bright lemon snowdrop. I can use that in June because it's all nicely um, displayed and organized in this little container. So I did get that at, jo um, at Joanne. That was like super exciting from my organizational standpoint. So let's talk product, you guys. Okay, so the first line that Bath & Body Works came out with this year was our holiday traditions line which consists of eight products um i'm actually pretty organized here i don't know why i forgot to bring out my christmas cocoa um but of the eight my absolute three favorite are the cocoa the christmas cocoa and mint i love this one you guys it's to me it doesn't have any of that like vanilla musk in it this one is pure foodie to me so this is absolutely one of my favorite products of the christmas 2019 season twisted peppermint is always going to be one of my favorites and the brand new snowy citrus swirl i've been wearing this one a lot this is definitely a favorite that I hope they bring back next year because I really enjoyed that. I would love to see that in a moisturizing body wash. Um, my least favorite scents of the 2009 season, it doesn't mean that I don't like them. It's just that they're farther down on the list. We're definitely the Merry Cherry Cheer. I feel like they took that amaretto out. It didn't smell the same to me this year. It was okay, but it wasn't. Um, the more I smelled it, I kept comparing this to last year's. It's a hair different, I think. I wasn't sure at first, but I think this one's a little bit different. And I'm just not on board with Frosted Coconut Snowball. 
only because we get so much coconut in the summer. I didn't feel like this is one of my favorites. Um, the middle scents for me were the raspberry sugar, vanilla bean, Noel, and winter candy apple, which I love, but they were in the, um, not in my top and not in my bottom. <laughs> so as far as some of the other products, I think as far as the scrubs, oh my gosh, you guys, absolute number one favorite product, I think of, aside from the Christmas cocoa and mint, has got to be these whipped confetti body scrubs. I'm hoping they have these at SAS on sale for a 50 or 75% because I will buy more. I absolutely love this formula. It smells completely, absolutely true on mint. I like the Vanilla Bean Noel one. Um, Winter Candy Apple I kind of like, but I prefer the mint and the Vanilla Bean Noel. So I'd say this is my number one favorite product of the, um, the Christmas season. Hopefully they bring back the confetti scrubs next year. Um, let's talk Land of Sweets a little bit. Oh my gosh. So I think they did an amazing thing with the Land of Sweets this year. And I really, really hope that they bring back, I don't know my hot cocoa and cream. Where did it go? Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. Um, I really hope they do this again next year, that they learned from all of us that we want foodie scents for Christmas. <laughs> I would love to see, um, maybe like a lime scent. I would love to see an eggnog body care product. Coco, come here. Um, I would love to see any type of like gingerbread. I don't think we had enough gingerbread this year. We had the, um, the retired fragrance come back, the, the uh, spiced gingerbread latte, but um, I would like a more true on gingerbread product next year in Land of Sweets, if they bring back Land of Sweets, which I'm hoping they are. So um, my my two favorite products in Land of Sweets this year were definitely the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread and the Bright um, Lemon Snowdrops. Oh my, I cannot get enough of this lemon. I really want to pick up maybe an extra one of these um, in case they don't bring it back next year. Because this one, it reminds me the most of the Tutti Dolce line, and it just is so fresh and um, lemony, and I love this one. I Second in, on my list is definitely um, the blueberry. I'm loving this, like, baked blueberry scent. Um, so these two, these are so good, you guys, in the shower gels, too. I've been using, um, for the past week, I've been using the Santa's shortbread and the lemon, which I don't even have out there. I have that one in my bathroom. These are really nice shower gels. These feel really nice and creamy, too. I swear the formula is nicer than um, the regular shower gel. I don't know. Maybe I'm just um, misinterpreting that. Um, Christmas cookies was okay for me. I think I was anticipating Christmas cookies a little bit more, but this one has more of that almond in it, and I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of the, like, a cookie scent, but it's nice. I mean, this is definitely probably third on my list. And then um, hot cocoa and cream, it's funny because I used to love hot cocoa and cream, but now that they have the Christmas cocoa and mint, this is just kind of like run to the forefront. <laughs> and I still like hot cocoa and cream, but I definitely like the mint one a little bit better. Um, I feel like winter candy apple was kind of a dud for me because it was just a repackaging. I would have liked to have seen... Um, a different fragrance, um, like a pink fairy gumdrop, an eggnog, a gingerbread, like I said, something a little bit different um, than the winter candy apple. I don't really understand why we had a dupe on the winter candy apple. That was kind of strange. <laughs> um, as far as the other Land of Sweets products, absolutely love these roll-on body glitters. These are one of my favorite stocking stuffers to get. I've stocked up on these um, for Body Care Day, they are the Blueberry Swirl, um, Grape Goodness, and Charm and Cherry. These are so much fun. So basically, they just roll on. They smell like sour, like candy. I don't know. These are so much fun. I'm 49, and I love these. Um, those are awesome. Um, I love the bath salt line. I think that that was a really neat uh, product they brought out to give us some bath salts. I've been using some of these. Love the lemon, love the blueberry. The only one that I really don't like is the Crystal Candy Rose. And it's funny because once again, you know, it's just me. I 
hate the smell of roses. I don't know why. My husband knows never to buy me roses. I don't, I don't like it. It's too florally. Um, I don't mind smelling a fresh rose once in a while, but like, I don't know why. I just don't like rose. Um, and it's funny because I love the color of this one, but I wish it was like Pink Fairy Gumdrop. I would have used that. You know how Lush does um, the Snow Fairy? <gasps> they had like a product like that. I would have been all over it. But the, the, the Crystal Candle Rose is definitely a major dud for me. Um, lavender Sugar was just kind of okay for me. Again, it was floral. And I wish it was, um, I mean, this would have been really cool if it was like grape <laughs> or, you know, a foodie scent. Um, I did, however, love the bright lemon snowdrop. However, I'll have to say, you guys, I do miss the large bottles of the bubble bath. So this is the ones they had last year. This is Tis the Season. And then this was the bright lemon snowdrop. I feel like um, we were missing the the classic scents in the bubble bath. So we didn't get Twisted Peppermint, we didn't get Vanilla Bean Noel, and we didn't get Winter Candy Apple. I would love to have seen those in a bubble bath or the two-in-one bubble bath body wash, which this is because I had saved this one from last year and I never want to use it because this is one of my favorite scents, you guys. Oh, it's, it's amazing. I love this one. Um, but this was from last year and I wish they would bring these back again next year because we need a Twisted Peppermint bubble bath. <laughs> Um, absolutely love the Shimmer Fizz body lotions. However, for whatever weird reason, we didn't get a Twisted Peppermint. We got Winter Candy Apple. We got Vanilla Bean Noel. These are fun. They crackle. They got a little, um, kind of shimmer to them. Those were fun. They smell really good. Um, hey, let's see. What else do we have? Um, did you, oh. I'm really happy, you guys, that they brought the classic collection, the Twisted Peppermint, Winter Candy Apple, and Villain Bean Noel Coco, um, with the moisturizing body wash. I have probably gotten like four of these at, um, you know, between Body Care Day and throughout the season. My mom loves this one. I, we, we've been going through this like pretty quickly. Next up, as far as, it's funny, I didn't really even review these individually this year. They did have two lip scrubs this year. One of them was a mint drop, which I, it doesn't have a, a, a really strong scent. And the other one, these are exfoliating lip scrubs, was the cocoa sugar. I've tried this one. These aren't bad. I mean, they have a little exfoliating property to them. Oops, just dropped the lid. Um, I mean, they're nice. However, um, I am a lush lip scrub girl. Oh my gosh, Mint Julep from Lush is definitely one of my favorites. Amazing. This formula is like the best. I love the Lush lip scrubs. Um, I didn't even buy... One of the duds to me at Bath & Body Works has always been their bath fizzies. Um, they just cannot compete with Lush in terms of um, the bath fizzies. I mean, Lush this year... I mean... These are like the handmade. This is the Snow Fairy. Look at this bath bomb. I've been reviewing a couple of these. Lush is literally, no one can touch Lush. I don't like, um, what's the company? I think it's called The Bomb. Those bath bombs, Ulta's bath bombs are horrible. They smell like chemicals. Um, bath and Body Works, I don't mind the, like, the scents on them are pretty good, but they have like that alcohol, that Alka-Seltzer fizz. They fizz off really quickly and they don't really create any bath art. So if Bath and Body Works could do some like Lush style, that formula, <laughs> the bath bombs, I'd be all over them. But um, I'm definitely not into the Bath and Body Works bath bombs. Um, they did a really good job this year on the hand creams. My favorite hand cream this year was definitely Spiced gingerbread. If you haven't gotten one of those, I hope you can pick one up at SAS. <gasps> this one, oh my gosh, this smell is just like, like ginger. Awesome smell. They did a really good job on spiced gingerbread with the hand cream. I need another one of those. Um, they did a really good job in the pocket bags this year. Um, we had the Land of Sweets pocket bags. These are super cute. Vanilla Bean Noel, Winter Candy Apple, um, Merry Cookie. How awesome is that? I love the holiday pocket bags. Um, and 
the lip gloss. I really loved their lip gloss. I Pink Gumdrop I've been wearing all season. The Hot Cocoa is literally the number one most awesome lip gloss of the year of any brand. This literally smells and tastes like hot cocoa. This one is really, really good, you guys. Um, Sugar Plum Berry was okay for me. Um, absolutely love Vanilla Bean Noel. I've also been wearing this one a lot, but I really love their lip glosses. Excellent job on the lip glosses. Um, the Foaming Mousse, Ice Gingerbread, favorite one of the season. I'm getting that gingerbread. <laughs> um, and then as far as like the other Christmas scents that they actually brought into the mix, we did, I thought it was kind of neat that they brought in, um, some of the glitter collection. They've got the fresh sparkling snow. They've got the twinkling nights, uh, little black party dress and black cherry merlot. This line, there's, a, there's another one. Which one am I missing? I think I'm missing, um, fresh sparkling snow. Did I mention that one? I thought there were five, but anyway, oh, champagne toast. Hello. <laughs> it's right in front of me, you guys. Love champagne toast. Um, so once again, like I said, I think they did a standout, absolutely amazing job on bringing us these kind of like sophisticated, classy scents that you might want to wear to like an evening party if you don't want to wear like blueberry shortbread. <laughs> um, I mean... I think the little black party dress, that, that one is really nice. I really love Twinkling Nights. This one is like an evening scent. This one is really nice, you guys. Um, oh, that smells really good. Um, like I said, these are more sophisticated. So they, I think they did a really good job of bringing us classic scents, foodie scents, and sophisticated scents. But um, I think that's the entire product. Like, Oh, I got to bring up the aromatherapy. We had Thankful, which is a frankincense and myrrh. We had Peaceful, which is tea tree and peppermint. And then we had Joyful, which is my favorite, which is the black currant and pine. It makes you smell like a Christmas tree. There's also another fragrance floating around out there somewhere called Shimmering Stars. I have not seen it. It's supposed to smell like a Christmas tree. I don't know where it is. If anyone has seen it, let me know because um, I gotta find that. That's kind of interesting. Um, I love, oh, by the way, the packaging. I love the packaging on the Land of Sweets body lotion. It's all glittery and pretty. This makes an awesome gift experience. Um, and what else did we get? I'm trying to think. I think that's about the entire Christmas line. Land of Sweets, Holiday Traditions, Aromatherapy, all the glitters, plus all the little extra products mixed in. So I literally am giving Bath & Body Works like an 11 out of 10. I know that sounds extreme and everyone's like, oh, Bonnie, you always say you love everything. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> I am totally joyful over this Bath & Body Works season. Um, like I said, my suggestions are more, if anyone from Bath & Body Works is out there listening, um, I'd love eggnog. I'd love more gingerbread. Um, mint Cocoa Drop was an awesome scent that they had had a couple of years ago that I would love for them to bring back. And... I definitely would love to see the larger classic scents in the bubble bath because I'm a huge fan of this bubble bath. I just absolutely love it. Um, oh, and some sort of bath bomb that's like bath art. That would be so much fun. I would absolutely love that. So anyway, um, let me know below what your favorite products are from the Christmas 2019 season. I'm going to organize all my stuff. Like I said, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Bonnie, you have so much stuff. But it actually kind of looks like a little bit more than um, I have because I, for the most part, I basically have like one of each. <laughs> so I have to organize this. Um, in 2020, I'll do a big organizational video. I will show you how I store everything because I like to be super creative, like I said, and find containers for all of my products and just make it look like art in my living space. I'm really into that. So anyway, um, I don't know what's coming next. I've got my candle collection that I ordered. Um, I've got the vanilla candy cola, um, mint chip shake coming and one of the, I think it's balsam pine, one of the pine ones. I'll do that haul when it gets here. I did get some spring Coles candles in. Um, so I'll be doing that kind of stuff, but thank you so much for watching my roundup of Bath and Body Works Christmas 2019. It's been an amazing year. It's not over yet. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.